Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us this morning for the June Chotsky Hoyo for the Monterey Peninsula Buddhist Temple. I'm going to begin today's service with an opening reading. You please join me in Gashi. The faults of others are easy, easy to see. The faults of our own are difficult to recognize. If one sees that he has faults, he must realize that the fault must be very grave indeed for him to recognize it himself. Thus, he must take steps to correct his fault. Because it is difficult for us to see many of our faults, we should listen to the advice of others. Namo Amidamis, Namo Amidamis, Namo Amidamis, Namo Amidamis, Namo Amidamis. Thank you. We'll begin with the sutra chanting of the Sambujo, followed by the dedication reading, Yobiapamon, and then we will continue with the Jusege and Sambutsuge. During the sutra chanting, you'll see the names of families observing memorial during the month of June and July in Monterey, scrolling across the screen. Thank you.
Today on this occasion, the Monterey Peninsula Buddhist Temple in June and July, Shotsky Hoyo Memorial Service. The members of the Sangha have reverently come before Amida Buddha in memory of their beloved family members. With deepest reverence and thankfulness, the all embracing wisdom and compassion of Amida, we reaffirm the three homages. I go to the Buddha for guidance. I go to the Dharma for guidance. I go to the Sangha for guidance. Namo kia buts, namo kia ho, namo kia so, nam bam bam so. Jepo, Nichas, Rijuki, Tengong, Purgan, 
If you please all join me in the Gatha Shinlan Sama on page 240. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
the threefold refuge. Difficult is it to receive a human form, now we are living it. Difficult is it to hear the Dharma of the Buddha, now we hear it. We do not cross over to the truth in the present life. In what life shall we cross over? Let us with sincerity and true reverence take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. I take refuge in the Buddha. May we together with all sentient beings awaken to the great way of enlightenment and to the unsurpassed intent of Amida Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. May we together with all sentient beings enter the storehouse of the Dharma, becoming like the wisdom ocean. I take refuge in the Sangha. May we together with all sentient beings become units in true accord in harmony with all things. The peerless, profound, and wondrous Dharma is rare to encounter, even in many hundreds and thousands of kalpas. Now we are privileged to hear and see. Let us thoroughly understand the true meaning of the Tathagata's teaching. <clears throat> インジェルケガタシイマスデニウクウポキキガタシイマスデニウキウこの未根性に向かってどうせずんばさらにいずれの証人向かったかこの未王道線大衆諸共に死神に参謀に消えし立てまつるべし自らぶつに消えし立てま
there may be differing opinions about what that harmony is and what constitutes that harmony. Some may feel that harmony means that everything goes the way that I want it to go, what I expect from life, what I expect from others. This could be not, this is far from the truth. Because in the quote that I shared with you, Daniel Shoning simply defines how we can be relaxed, how we can be gentle in our mind and our body, and as a result, live in harmony with those with ourselves as well as those around us. And then Yo uses this term Shinji, and we've heard this before, Shinji, a direct translation of the characters might be true heart and mind. And we've heard words like faith or trusting have been used to define this word Shinji. Now, I prefer the word entrusting. However, we have to understand that to entrust means to give up the sense of self. <coughs> Excuse me. It means to give up our sense of self and rely completely in trusting on a meta Buddha. And this entrusting is not something that we can create from our own self centered efforts and concepts. It is to have complete trust in Amida Tathagata. Amida turns towards us with his compassion and has given us pure and unhindered Shinji or a true and real mind. Once we entrust our true and real self, it awakens and becomes that relaxed, gentle person that Daniel described in the book. So today, as we think about our families, it is to trust that binds us together, that allows us to live together more meaningfully. And this is true with our parents, our brothers, sisters, wives, husbands, our sangha, our colleagues, and our friends. With trust, we can get things done. We can accomplish so much. Without trust, we cannot function together as a sangha. We cannot function together as a family. The reality is that true trust in our associations with others must come from within myself, ourselves, that is concerned for greater good for our family and our sangha and our, uh, our, and our communities. A self-centered person cannot fully trust others because he or she cannot trust oneself. Many of Buddhist scholars, Buddhist monks and priests, have, including Shinnan Shoning, our founder, have used the analogy of an ocean as we find ourselves floundering in our egos. We can drown in our own misery. However, if we stop struggling, if we stop floundering, and we allow the ocean to engulf us and embrace us, we will float and gently become embraced by the ocean of true and real life that is Amida Buddha. So our family members who we honor today, our Sangha, our temples, our homes, are one in Chinji. Together we tread down the same road. We cry together, we laugh together, we learn together, and we grow together. Like all families, we may disagree from time to time. But if we continue to trust in one another and trust in oneself, our temple, our communities will continue to be a place that exudes kindness and compassion. And because we share so much, we support one another in our mutual quest to be relaxed and gentle in mind and body. Thank you. Please join me in Asha. Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts, Namo Amidabuts.
The reason is that by abandoning all other practices and completely entrusting ourselves in Amida Buddha, our spiritual rebirth is assured by Amida through the inconceivable power of the final vow. This is known as entering the ranks of the truly assured at the very moment of Shinji. Thereafter, all utterances of the members should be understood only as expressions of gratitude for Amida's assurance of our spiritual rebirth. With reverence, I remain. Thank you. Before we close today, I want to make a few announcements. I want to remind everybody that uh, next week, uh, which is the 20th of June, we will have the Salinas Buddhist Temples, June and July, Shotsky Hoyo. And also uh, on that same day, the Zoom uh, meeting of the Dharma Youth Program will take place at 10 o'clock on June 20th. So on the 27th of June, there will be no services. Uh, starting in July, there's uh, activities, including in Watsonville, they will be having their fireworks booth at the temple starting on July 1st through July 4th. So please support their efforts to raise funds through the fireworks. On July 11th, uh, we will have uh, Monterey's Hatsubon service. And this service will be streamed live will also be open to temple members to attend uh, in person. Our guest speaker will be Reverend John Turner of the Orange County Buddhist Temple. The following week on July 18th, Watsonville will observe their house of home service. Again, live streamed, but also uh, members are invited to come in person. Reverend uh, Yuki Subahara of the Oregon Buddhist Temple will be our guest speaker that day. And on July 25th, Salinas will observe their Hatsubon service with Reverend Kuwahara of the Berkeley Buddhist Temple as their guest speaker. And now, if you all please join me in the Gatha Ondo Song 2, followed by a closing reading. Then Shinnan-sama draws near to hold my hand 
and walks along with me. Namo Amida Bus. Namo Amida Bus. Namo Amida Bus. Namo Amida Bus. Thank you very much, everyone. This will conclude our uh, June and July shows. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope to see you all next week. Please be safe, take care, and be well. Thank mm -hmm. you.